Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I'm going to talk about three different things you could do in Luminar Neo that will help you with your workflow. Now, I'm not going to be talking about editing techniques you could do. These are three things that kind of fly under the radar. They don't get a lot of press that you could do in Luminar Neo that should help you with your overall workflow. Let's start with number one, culling images. Once you import images into Luminar Neo, probably the next thing you'll do is cull them. There's two different ways you could go about culling images. One is if you're in loop view, you're looking at a single image in the catalog module. What you could do is if you like this image and you want to edit it, give it a favorite flag or a pick flag. The best way to remember it is a pick flag because the keyboard shortcut for that flag is the P key. P as in pick. Hit the P key on your keyboard and you just gave this a favorite flag. You'd have to look over here on the right hand side and you can see right here how that little heart is now filled in. That means this has the favorite flag. Go to the next image by hitting the right arrow key. Let's say you don't like this image and you probably want to delete it later on. So you want to give it a reject flag. To do that, hit the X key on your keyboard. Unfortunately, when you do that, there is no indication on the screen that you actually did reject this image. Hopefully in a future update to Luminar Neo, they change that so that we see, you know, a black flag or something over here indicating that this image is now rejected. But if we go back to the catalog and take a look, you can see that it does have the X flag in the lower right hand corner. So we definitely did reject that image and this image has that favorite flag. Well, what if you're not sure? Well, if you're not sure, just go to the next image, hit the right arrow key. What if you make a mistake? Let's say I accidentally reject this image by hitting the X key. And we'll go back to the catalog just to show you. See how it has the X flag there? Let's say, oh no, I accidentally hit the X key. I didn't want to do that. Well, just unpick it by hitting the U key. When you hit the U key, and we'll go back to the catalog, you can see it's not marked at all now. So those are the three keyboard shortcuts you need to remember. P to give it a favorite flag or a pick flag, X to give it a reject flag, and U to unpick it or unflag it with the U key. And of course, to go to the next image, hit the right arrow key. Now, another way you could do this, and one which might be better for many people, is while you're in the catalog mo uh, module, go over here to the view and change it to either large or largest. I'll change it to largest. And you could see now that we have a better view or a bigger view of the images. That way you could still go through them with the right arrow key. And if you like an image, you could give it a pick flag and you could see in the lower right hand corner that heart became active. Let's say I don't like this one. I could give it a reject flag, hit the X key. Like say I, let's say I make a mistake on this one. I accidentally gave it an X. I could unpick it with the U key hit the right arrow key, go to the next one. Let's say I'm not sure about that one. Just go to the next one, hit the U key. Just keep hitting the U key till you find one you want to edit. Let's say I want to edit this one, hit the pick key. The P key for the pick, uh, that means you're picking it. Let's say I want to edit that one. Let's say I want to edit that one. So I'm doing a lot of picks. Let's say I'm unsure about that one. Just go to the next one. Uh, let's say I like that one. I'll give it a P. So you have all these flags, flagged images now. Well, Let's just concentrate on the ones that we actually want to work on. In that case, go to where it says showing and change it from all photos to favorites. You could go down here and change your view to let's say medium. And these are all our favorited photos. So now I could just go to the edit panel, click on one, go to the edit panel, start working on it, go back to the catalog man, uh, module, go to the next one and so on. What about those rejected ones? Well, I could go to this drop down and just show the rejected ones. Then I could delete these. I could right click right on it. And then I could go down to move to Luminar Trash and move it to Luminar Trash that way. But I'm not going to do that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to unpick it by hitting the U key and unpick that one by hitting the U key. And now you can see I don't have any rejected images. When you want to go back to all photos, go to all photos. So that's the best way I know of, of how to cull images in Luminar Neo. One of those two methods, personally, I prefer to see the very large um, uh, previews in grid view and then go through them that way. That's the way I prefer to do it. But 
If those aren't big enough for you, then definitely go into loop view where you're looking at a single image and do it the way I, I did it to begin with. All right, number two, let's go over to the edit panel. One thing that really comes in handy is the way you could get a white and black point in Luminar Neo. Uh, to do that, let's say I go to the develop raw and let's say I bring like highlights down a little on this one, open up the shadows and then I go to the white and black point. Well, what you could do is hit the J key. When you hit the J key, you're turning on clipping indicators. And if I, let's say in this case, I bring the black slider down too low, I'll start to get this blue overlay on the image and then I could back it off till that blue just dissipates. And similarly for the whites, if I go too high on that, you can see over here, but let's bring exposure up a little more. You can see if I have the white slider or exposure up too high or the highlights up too high, I'll start to get a red overlay here. That means I'm clipping those highlights. So that's a great way. Just hit that J key and to turn these off, hit the J key again. One thing I would recommend you do is Put the histogram on. By default, it won't show up over here. And the reason why I recommend you do that is because you'll know those clipping indicators are on or off. So to do that, go up to View and then down to Show Histogram. Now, if I hover over the histogram, you can see there's little circles that appear in the top corners. If I hover over the left circle, it'll eventually say Cold Pixels. And if I hover over the right one, it'll eventually say hot pixels. Well, that's just the different pixels for the shadows and the highlights. So if I hit the J key, you'll notice now that those circles appear without me hovering over it and the circles are solid, they're filled in. So I know those are on. So then I could back off everything the way I need to so I could get rid of all the red. Now, I get first glance, I know they're on and they'll stay on. When I go from image to image to image, those will stay on. Or I could turn them off, hit that J key again. Or maybe you just want the shadows on and not the highlights. We'll go up here and just click right on it. And then you'll have just the shadows on and the highlights won't be on at all. You can see, but if I turn it on, now it's on. And I could, of course, use the keyboard shortcut, that J key to turn them back off. So J key toggles them on or off. So number two, I recommend that you show the histogram and then you take advantage of the clipping indicators by either click, clicking on the circles individually or hitting the J key. All right, number three. Um, I don't know about you, but there's so many tools here. I often find myself kind of scrolling around to try to find what I need. Well, there's a way you could make favorites with your tools. All you need to do is go to a tool like this develop raw tool, right click right on it, First close it, then right click on it, and then go to add to favorites. Now it's in this category at the top called favorites. Another thing I do besides develop raw is I often do some color editing. So I'll go to that, right click on it, add to favorites. Now you can see it's there. I often go to details, but before I do details, I actually go to noiseless raw usually. So I'll right click on that and I'll add that to favorites and you can see that it's up there now, but they won't go in order. Unfortunately, hopefully in a future update, they have it so you can reorder these in the order that you use that most often use them. But right now they don't. Well, let's say we do details and then I add a vignette. So you could just add favorites. So you now you'll see the, the uh, modules or tools I use most often are up here at the top in favorites. So I don't have to go searching for them. They're right there. If I need to remove something from favorites, let's say I don't use details anymore. Instead of that, I use super sharp AI. Well, right click on details, remove from favorites, right click on super sharp AI, add to favorites. And there you go. Just like that. So that is my last and final tip on using Luminar Neo is to make sure that you put the tools you most often use in favorites. It'll save you a lot of time kind of searching around for them. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.